Unless you've been living under a rock lately, you've likely come across ChatGPT, which is essentially OpenAI's latest chatbot built on top of some uh, natural language processing uh, models. Now, there's one common misconception in that it's going to take away jobs. There's a lot of fear around ChatGPT. Uh, there's a lot of people who are naturally reticent to use it um, and worrying about the future. That doesn't need to be the case. The, the great thing about ChatGPT is it's actually just another iteration on, on our advancement with technology. And it can make things really easy. So whether you want to make more money, whether you want to secure interviews slightly in a slightly easier fashion and, and sort of propel yourself into new uh, careers or roles, if you want to validate your, your coding um, or some of your programs, it's really easy to do with ChatGPT. Um, and, and regarding the argument, I guess, that it can take away jobs, uh, essentially, you know, it's, it's just an iteration. It may take away some menial tasks and time, but it will also open up new jobs. You used to have to call a switchboard to get your calls redirected. That got taken away. New jobs were opened up. Uh, Self-service checkouts and, and shops or stores uh, where you people used to, there used to be a lot more people available to, to scan your, your food and your shopping through. Uh, that's no longer required in such a fashion. Um, and you used to have bank people who worked behind banks, clerks, um, ATMs came along. So we, we sort of automated that. And new jobs were opened up in technology and things. So it's just another iteration and there's no need to really be afraid uh, of where we're going with chat GPT. So, um, like I said, really helpful. And what you can actually do, chat.openai.com forward slash chat, and you can start asking questions. I have some here that I'm going to demonstrate across a broad variety um, of, of topics. But right now, I'll just enter a question to show you how easy it is. You want to try to be as specific as possible, uh, but maybe we just do something like, can you tell me? what the gestalt principles are in data visualization. So a pretty basic question uh, that we could also Google, but just to show you some of the, the way that ChatGPT typically go, goes about these things. So usually the response is pretty quick. So we've got the, the explanation already being written out. Principles and data visualization for designing effective and meaningful visual representations of data. It gives you a list of the actual principles. And then it goes on a lot. The great thing about ChatGPT is it sort of explains the why very well. Um, so it, it goes into actually break down everything. In one sort of common just search, we're able to get a lot of information that previously we may have had to search around for. Uh, you could go further, you could ask for an image to display this, um, and, and ChatGPT is quite good at, at really taking specific information um, and, and being able to provide that. So what I'm going to do is show you some some other examples. Like I said, first of all, it's a great way to, to almost learn some concepts, just get an overview, especially with coding, things like Python, SQL, maybe in our data visualization with Power BI, Tableau, uh, whatever that may be. Um, but I, I just asked a simple question, how do I write a short text adventure game in Python? And what it does, which is great, it gives you a code snippet, but it also, um, gives you the why about things or how you should go around doing things. So first of all, we get begin by designing the story and layout of the game. So, you know, usually with these sorts of text adventure games, it's a tree-like structure and it goes through a flow, uh, getting to the end destination or a game over, depending on the user's actions. Create a basic structure, so functions, which are just essentially in Python are just logical groupings of code uh, that perform a specific action. And then we've got a main loop. Use input. So again, we're going over another uh, function in Python to get user input and do something with it. Print to print our data. Um, and then it gives us, so it gives us these uh, suggestions and then tests the game thoroughly. But what's really great here it also provides a code snippet. So we get, you know, the function to start the game. And then we get all of the, 
the instructions. Now, we're free to change some of this about, but what's great is, you know, we don't give it a certain amount of parameters or constraints, but it gives us a basic code snippet that we can go ahead and modify. So that's really good if you want to get introduced to a topic. Um, ChatGPT, it's never going to take away the job of developing the actual program, but it can get you a lot, sort of a lot of the way there. Now, we could go over some some more specific things. Let's say we're uh, we're learning SQL, or we we have a specific set of SQL questions. Here, I've just said provide a SQL Server code to view the percentage of of sales total by a customer. And here again, we the great thing about ChatGPT, it provides you the snippet. So we've got a CTE here that sums up the total sales, and then we're able to then go ahead select this and group this and segregate it uh, by the customer name uh, from our table that's orders. Now we would have to change some of these details, but it gives you the skeleton structure for what you need to do. Now it's probably not gonna be as effective on exceptionally complex pieces, but like I say, ChatGPT is good if you want just an overview to gloss over a subject and then you can go ahead in the right direction. What I like here as well, it tells you the, the sort of why it's doing certain things. So percentage calculated by taking a sum for each customer, dividing it, and then it tells you that it groups the results by customer name, and then also advises a sample code. You should adjust it uh, accordingly. So that's sort of two ways that if you want to uh, go around sort of improving your code or your skill set, you can use ChatGPT. Now, what's really good here is that this could be another example. So let's say that I didn't ask a very specific question. It still gave a pretty good answer. Let's say you have an interview coming up um, for a data analytics role. I've asked, it says it can't give me the questions and answers, uh, but it gives you a list of common questions that may be asked in a data analytics interview. So uh, can you explain a data analytics project? How do you approach a data analysis problem? And there's lots of other things here. A business problem you've helped. Now, these are some sort of almost behavioral type questions that, that's really helpful here because, you know, in, in sort of technical interviews, you may just be focusing on that, the technology. But it's important to have an overview into some of the questions that may be asked. Uh, certainly from how you explain things or more a soft skills perspective. So this is really useful. Now, the last example I want to just go through is a way I, I talked about potentially making more money and I see this as being a, a potential route for chat GPT. So let's say you do some freelance work, maybe on a site like like Fiverr. Um, and you may have, you know, you may be a specialist, let's say with Python code, but maybe you haven't worked too much in this specific area, which is someone's come to you and says they need help with APIs to track flights. So again, which API can I track to use real time flights in Python? And this will point you in the right direction again. Several APIs, and here's the popular choices. And I've, I've used OpenSky Network and I've used Flight Radar, so definitely they, they work and they serve a purpose. And it just puts you in the right direction and can actually speed up that route, you know, the time you may spend going away and researching, which is essentially potentially money being lost. Uh, and again, it gives you a little bit of a, a blurb, current API key, usage limitations. And I like that it goes ahead and, and says, hey, this is a this is a recommendation, but you sort of need to, to work things as per your requirements. So in closing, I think ChatGPT is an extremely positive thing. Uh, it's definitely, when, when integrated with other programs or IDEs, it's definitely going to be really powerful in just improving lives. And, and it's certainly, I don't think, going to go the opposite way. There's, there's a lot of longevity to help people and any menial or manual tasks that may be automated may already be being automated by other RPA programs and things. So there's no need to um, to worry. And this is just going to open up a whole, a whole other realm for a lot of technical domains. So enjoy trying out ChatGPT and put it through its paces and, and see how it can help you within your role or within your life.